Okay, you guys, so Nicki Minaj's little sister, Ming Lee, is responding to Nicki coming down on her for speaking on her during an interview. Now, if you guys don't remember, Ming Lee did an interview with We In Miami podcast speaking on what it was like growing up being Nicki Minaj's little sister. What was life like for Ming growing up? It was kind of hard, and I used to be bullied a lot for it because people used to say, like, oh, if this person was your sister, why did she do this for you? Why did she do that for you? And it's like, at a young age, it's like, you you don't know how to answer questions like those i never needed her to help me get to my goal i just needed her to see that i can do it and she can be proud of me without mm -hmm. having to think that i needed to have an easy way to get to the top is that important to you to feel that sense of independence to do it yourself it really is important to me i used to have this urge of just trying to like impress my sister i'm not gonna lie i always had this urge to impress her because anybody else i wouldn't give a f about so what's your current relationship with Nikki? We was never close. She was like always like busy. She be busy and stuff like that. I be doing my too. Like even though people do think that like we are not cool, we're going to argue. I'm not going to lie. Me, like my sister do be getting mad at me. But this is nothing new. Like, siblings don't fight. What you be doing, man? Yeah, I was gonna say, why, listen, bro. Why, why do you think listen, Ming is bro, why do you make her Ming is just Ming, bro. Respectfully. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I'll be getting everyone tight, bro. People were saying that y'all look just alike. Do you think you guys look like twins? I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Wait. Do the face. Oh, let I me see you. So. Let me see you do a face. Let right me see you do the there. face. Hey! hey. And so for the people that don't know, you and Nicki Minaj are half-sisters through your father, correct? Yeah, through my father, exactly. We have the same dad. She was a good sister. Like, she did check up on me, my dad, from time to time. Like, she always made sure that we was, like, you know, at least good situated in a way. Like, it doesn't matter if she was distant or not. She was still, like, you know, being there. She was still making sure that we was all good. Like, I don't have no hate towards her. And if people think that I do, that's... That's y'all problem, not mine. <laughs> Do you think that like Nikki may be trying to protect you from like I the bad so. side Absolutely. of the music industry? No. My sister always wanted to like let me know that people are really dirty in the music industry. Right. It's always family at the end of the day. No matter how much we argue, fight, it got nothing to do with anyone else but us. We still gonna be family at the end of the day. Now this was at the end of June, but Nicki Minaj recently went on Station Head and finally decided to speak out about it. Now you could tell she did not appreciate her sister speaking on her at all. She called her a clown and a mooch. Take a listen. Why would a person speak? on a person they love. Why would a person speak openly about a private person? Why would a person do that? Why would a person do that? Who would you, who would you speak about in your interviews if you if someone wanted to interview you yourself right it's always a bad sign if if um a person who doesn't who's not even in your line of work or who has never been successful in your line of work is doing interviews with people in your line of work. Like, hmm. I think y'all think talent, like you could catch it like a cold or, or maybe people could pass it through the genes. Even with blood relation what god has given to me is mine you have to go and get your own you have to discover whatever it is that you're great at being a mooch and a clown don't run in my dna 
and Ming Lee did respond to what Nikki said. She said, I still love her. I tried as a sister to please her, but I realized I got to please God first because only he can judge the gift he gave me. Now she kept it cute, but you can tell her feelings were really hurt by what Nikki said. But fans feel like it's deeper than just Ming doing that interview. Now just to be clear, Nikki and her sister are not that close. Now this is her biological sister on her biological father's side. But again, they're not that close. And recently, Ming did an interview and was asked, who was her favorite, Nikki or Cardi? She said she could not choose. Now, if it's one person that Nikki cannot stand, it's Cardi B. I'm a Cardi fan too, so you know. If you had to choose, would it be like, come on, Nikki or Cardi? I wanna know what would be your answer today okay. at the level where you're at, your mentality where it's at. I want the audience to understand the real you, the I, human uh, you, I got not right the now. artist. I got y'all right now. Tell it. This is gonna be a tea, y'all. Get ready for this. Y'all ready? I don't have one. It's just my sister, though, because she's my blood sister. We play, period. Always gonna be at the end of the day. Reason why I say this, too, is, you know, both of them, like, they they grew up. They're um, hustlers. Yeah, they're hustlers. Both at the end of the day, they still made something of themselves. They still, like, yeah. like paved the way for younger black women, like, to like get, have, in the to get into the industry like you know to have something go for themselves like even now this was a recent interview now mind you that we in miami podcast interview was back in june and nikki spoke out about this yesterday so this is what fans are feeling like drove nikki over the edge to have something to say about her now i'ma be real if my sister couldn't decide between me and my op as to who's her favorite I would feel some type of way too. Now, if I was in her shoes, I don't care if my sister was not my favorite artist. If it's between her and her op, I'm choosing my sister, even if I don't mean it, okay? So I do really feel like Ming stirred the pot when she said that, but y'all let me know, what do y'all think? Do you think that this is what really sent Nikki over the edge to go in on her sister? And what would you have done in that situation? Would you choose your sister or her op, or would you have been completely honest? Y'all let me know what you think in the comments below. That's all I have for you, and I'll talk to you later. Hello, I'm Ming Lee. Had to like take some clips for y'all. But I'm Ming Lee. Hey, y'all. As you know me, I'm known as a famous celebrity's little sister, but I also like to do my own music. I'm a singer also an artist i just had a song come out with my fellow partner rakeem so i should follow him if y'all don't follow him y'all not valid y'all weird y'all weird but just had a song out coming out with me and him make sure y'all like subscribe and comment make y'all love and support and stuff but yeah hey guys i've been doing music since like like a, like a while back, like a while, while back. When I was younger, I used to love music. Like music was always something that spoke to me in like different volumes that make me feel more and more secure about myself, more secure about my identity, more secure about who I want to be as a person, especially in the future. Like growing up, I was bullied a lot, like elementary, middle school, people used to bully me make me feel like shit, talk about like, oh, if you're a Nicki Minaj's sister, why don't you do this and that and a third? And why don't, why aren't you rich? And why are you living in a hood and this and a third? I'm just like, I was, I'm not gonna lie. Before, like a little kid, I always hid myself from it. I always like laughed it off or just cry, whatever, because at the end of the day, I was a baby. I was like, like I was like soft headed. I couldn't do nothing because I felt like I couldn't fight back, couldn't defend myself, and I felt like nobody had faith in me, nobody had determination in me. But every time I felt like singing a song, like any type of song, it always just comes up to me whether I'm happy, whether I'm sad, whether I'm happy, whether I'm pissed, whether anything. I just feel so, I don't know, I feel so open. I feel more focused in myself. I feel more out there. And growing older, it made me realize, like, I don't really need anyone's comment i don't need anyone's concerns i don't need anyone that's not relevant to me or helping me do what i have to do in my future or my career to make my money up and that's something that i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let anyone stop me from it so i may still be start i mean i stay maybe i stay maybe starting off at a rocky start and i may 
just started doing this music thing and I may don't know, I may not know what I'm doing all the time, but I'm willing to try and I'm willing to want to learn about the music industry, want to learn about what brings music, what makes music, what brings people together with music, what makes people inspired when it comes to you just writing a song 